Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV here again in the bright California sunshine. Gotta like that. Uh, today, um, what I'm gonna do is take apart my new NOCO GB150 jumper box that I got uh, for myself for Christmas. Um, this is to jump start uh, Big Blue if it ever ever needs a jump start or if I'm able to help another RVer out, this box should be able to do the trick. Also, I'm going to use it for a few other things around the rig to power that, but that'll be more in my review. Today, I'm just going to take the thing apart and let you have a look at what's inside. I'm totally curious to see, see what, how, what's inside this puppy. So, uh, I spent most of my life, um, my working life as a uh, TV technician. I had a TV and stereo repair shop, so um, I took apart a lot of things, like uh, a lot of complicated things, like you know VCRs, plasma TV. Some of the most complicated were uh, camcorders and VCRs, all the mechanical bits and pieces. So I'm not really scared to take things apart, but uh, just a caution: I'm totally going to be voiding my warranty by doing this. It's dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. It's got a lithium battery in it. Um, 12 volt power like this can cause major meltdown. So. Be warned, I'm not advising this, don't do it, but I'm going to do it. So I'll do it for you so you can see what's inside. So let's go take it apart. On to the RV workbench, the tailgate of the truck. <laughs> okay, so I'm most interested to see what, what battery is powering this, what they're using for the lithium ion battery. You know, they come up with a spec 12 volts, 4000 amps. That's just crazy amount of amperage. So I'd really like to see what the true uh, battery is in there, so I can kind of get a feel for things. On the back here we have, designed in the USA, made in China. Um, down here they've got clamp output, 12 volt, 4000 amps max. So I don't know, to me that must be some type of lab measurement instantaneous spike or something, because you put 4,000 amps through this, these cables and they would heat up and burn up, in my mind. Um, another little warning here, risk of fire, explosion and burns, do not disassemble, crush or heat above 60 Celsius, or incinerate, no, I'm not going to throw it in a fire. Okay, some other warnings. Okay, so it looks to me like we got six screws to take apart and it should... Uh, open up for me. So let's get busy. There we go. Got her all apart. Anyway, they used a uh, tamper-proof screw in there. Looks like a little triangle. Um, I was able to get it open using uh, a, a flathead. I just filed it down to the right size so that it fit just perfectly in that slot. With a little bit of pressure onto it, I was able to twist them out without damaging the screws or anything. So let's get a look at what's inside. I wasn't able to get it all the way apart unless I wanted to start ungluing some... Uh, they sort of uh, stuck down the battery bank onto the back cover and I'm not really prepared to start undoing the stickers. I want to leave everything kind of as it is. But I got it apart enough to kind of see what's in there. This is your main lithium battery here. They call it a NOCO Element 60. And if I can get close up here, I can show you the, the numbers on there. Get in there tight. So, looks like NEB 11V120C 8000, sorry, MAH. So that's 11.1 uh, .1 volts. 20C is kind of a discharge rating on a battery. And 8,000 mAh is like 8,000 milliamp hours. So the battery, it looks like the battery they're using has a capacity of 8 amp hours. So that kind of makes a little more sense in my mind as what it's going to be able to power. And 11.1 uh, .1 volts is it's called a nominal voltage. Um, it can go as low as 9 volts and as high as 14 or something. So. It's kind of how they rate the, the lithium batteries. 
kind of reading up on it. And this looks like the same type of battery they use to power uh, radio controlled uh, planes and helicopters and cars and stuff like that. But they've kind of customized it. I like the way the, the battery leads here uh, don't go through any connectors. They come right in and connect right into the battery. So that's good. Um, let me flip it around and I'll show you the other side. I got to kind of leverage it up because I can't really take the, the lid off. And there's a look at the other side. You can see where the negative lead comes in and gets soldered onto one big board. And it goes seems to go through uh, four big relays there. It must be the, you know, the, the auto protect circuitry and stuff like that. And there is some kind of board at the bottom that's full of uh, resistors. Some kind of ballast system or not. So let me flip it upside down and I'll get, get a look at what's inside the lid. So on the lid side you have the, the control board where all the push button switches are. A couple relays, a small fuse. Um, I assume that's where some of the microprocessor elements are to control the thing. And then there's your LED LEDs for the, the flashlight. Okay, let's try to get to the back end now. There, that's a little better look at it. So you can see that's the input and outputs down there. You got your uh, charging input and your USB and your output for 15 amp at 12 volt circuit board for the controls there we go Well, I hope people that are interested in buying this unit found that useful. So, looks like we got an 8 amp hour battery in there. So, if you ran the battery right down, you could you could run 8 amps for one hour, or 16 amps for half an hour sort of thing. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is before I opened it up, I made sure I, I ran it right down. So, it's down dead flat now. Won't even turn on the the light just so I didn't have a fully charged battery in there in case something went wrong. Um, so I'll continue on. I'll be uh, testing it in a lot of different ways and I'll come out with a review in a while. Um, now that it's dead flat I'm going to plug her in and uh, and see how long it takes to charge in the RV just by plugging it into the 12 volt uh, power socket in there, cigarette lighter socket. So uh, until next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Happy trails folks. Cheers.